morning. Hi guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome to day two of my 2023 at 12 days of Vlogmas. You all already know what's happening today. We are finally decorating my room for Christmas. It's like unseasonably warm out today and I just had to log all this stuff in so I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating a little bit. This is the latest that I've decorated for Christmas in a number of years. Usually because I'm doing vlogmas, like normal full length vlogmas, I decorate like December 1st or December 2nd. But I don't know, this year I just haven't been as motivated. Like I haven't been as like in, as in the Christmas spirit. Like I don't know, I'm just not, I haven't been feeling it as much this year. It could be because I'm not doing full length vlogmas. I feel like that usually motivates me to like get my Christmas on for the entire month. We're doing it now, which is super exciting. This will be my first year decorating for Christmas alone in a couple of years. I'll be decorating with my whole family in a different video. We were gonna do it today, but everyone's just like not feeling awesome today. So that will be in a separate vlog, like decorating our entire house for Christmas. This video is just going to be decorating my room for Christmas. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I'm a lifestyle and productivity vlogger here on YouTube. I focus a lot on post-grad lifestyle, kind of like what comes after graduating college. Posting just like vlogs whenever I can, figuring it out with you guys all at the same time. And this year I'm doing the 12 days of vlogmas kind of like the 12 days leading up to Christmas I'll be posting daily vlogs so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and join the family if you guys are new here you might not have known I lived in a college apartment last year while I was still in college and the year before and my roommates and I collected quite a bit of college or of Christmas decor and when we were all moving out and kind of like divvying up the stuff that we shared everyone was like Charlotte you can take the Christmas stuff like whatever and I was like yeah please I love decorating for Christmas. So I've got all of the Christmas decorations from last year and then I picked up a couple of new things also. And of course, we've got the tree over there as well that we're gonna be putting up in my room. And again, we're gonna have like a full decorating my house vlog coming up later where we'll have like the actual Christmas tree down in my living room and all of that, but that's coming later. Today, we're just doing my room. Before we actually start decorating, I wanted to just like go through the things that I have and kind of like come up with my plan for decorating. I don't usually do this, but but I've never decorated my own bedroom before, so we're starting out strong with a plan. I've, so like I said, I've kind of collected these things. Some of them I've had for years because of decorating my college apartments, others I got recently. So for my bathroom, I got this Bath and Body Works soap and this body wash, I got them on Black Friday. Um, so this is white iris and cedar wood, just like a little hand soap very very pretty and it smells so good this could actually also be just like a really nice scent for any time so i'm gonna use this for the entire christmas season then i think when it's done i'll just pour it into like a regular container because it's so good i also got champagne toast as my body wash this isn't necessarily a christmasy scent i actually think of this more as a new year's scent but I love it so much and they were having a sale on Black Friday so <laughs> I got a bunch of this stuff. I got like the body wash, two different lotions, and a candle all in the champagne toast scent because it's my favorite scent. Speaking of which, I also got a candle that smells like champagne toast. So good. Very like fruity. I have two other holiday themed candles also. I got this one which is golden berry and mistletoe. Just a cutie little like neutral Christmas candle. Smells quite good. I also have one over here that I've actually been burning for a couple of weeks at this point. This is from Target. This is the forest fir scent from Threshold. So good. I don't love the usual like holiday scents. I've talked about this in other videos, but like Christmas cookie or like gingerbread latte, those kinds of candles are just really overwhelming. I don't usually like those scents, but subtle things like this, like the Christmas tree smell, love them. I also got at Target these like fake little Christmas trees that I'm just gonna be putting out and around. I still have my crochet pumpkins that I made for like Halloween and fall. I still have those out, so I'm gonna be replacing those with these little trees. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but they've got like glitter sparkles on them, which kind of looks like snow, so super cute. So we've got two big ones four little ones that's the new stuff for old stuff we've got just a bunch of different things we have three little like wooden pieces that i might like put up on the wall or put over on my ladder shelf or put here on my desk we've got this little house like front of a door that says home for the holidays with a little wreath on it so cute we've got this wooden tree hanger which is a countdown to christmas days until christmas super cute and you track it with this little 
wreaths. I'll probably put that like maybe on the back of my door. Who knows? We're gonna figure it out. I don't actually know if I'm gonna do these this year. I might give these to my brother and Kerrigan for their house because they actually have a place to put them. But I have these little stocking holders. Again, probably won't use those, but you know, you never know. Um, I've also got four stockings. I've got two white ones and two red ones. Two more things. Another little hanger that says all the stockings were hung with three little stockings. Very cute, very cute. And the last thing is this little wooden Christmas tree cutout that says Feliz Navidad. That's the little Christmas decoration haul. And then obviously we have the tree. So I'm just gonna start like putting stuff out and we'll see how it goes. So ideally, I would want to put the tree right here in between my closet and my desk in front of this window, but I don't think that there's enough room there. There just isn't gonna be enough space. Like I won't be able to open or close this closet door. So I don't think it's gonna fit there. Alternatively, I could move my mirror and put it here which could be really cute, which is probably like my top contender. And then my mirror could move elsewhere. I don't know, I'd find a place for it. Maybe like there right in front of my door. I've had it there before like temporarily and it looks fine. Or the mirror could move here next to my ladder shelf, again, temporarily. I could also put the tree right here, but I don't know, I don't know if that would look weird like right at the foot of my bed so it's not like super heavy once you put it together it's just an artificial christmas tree i got it on amazon two years ago it's actually quite a problem when i was moving out when my mom and i did our road trip out to michigan over the summer this tree became like a big deal because i spent like 70 bucks on it didn't want to leave it behind because i'd spent the money on it so we ended up having to like stuff it into my car into like the car as we were road tripping home so We've made a big deal about this tree, so I really want to put it up. I'm thinking I'm going to move my mirror. I think I'm going to move the mirror from over there to right there next to my ladder shelf and put the tree where the mirror is. I think that's, that's my plan. I think that's what's going to look the best and where it'll like fit the most. Because I also like obviously my bed is over here. So when I'm like over here either in bed or just like doing work on my bed or scrolling on my phone or whatever i'll have like a direct view to my christmas tree and i think that'll look really cute that's gonna be my plan i'm also filming this on tiktok so um i've been getting so into my tiktok and my instagram reels so i'm gonna try and film a little like mini version of this vlog for tiktok and instagram so if you guys are interested that's over there um, on those platforms. I'll link those. Both of those are always down in my description. If you guys want to go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, totally should. But that is enough yapping for me. Let's actually start decorating my room. <laughs>
bit dark outside and it's actually pouring rain. So we'll, we'll pretend that it's snow and it'll be great. <laughs> but I finished decorating and I wanted to give you guys the tour of my fully decorated room. I feel like we're gonna get the full effect now because it's dark so it's like all of the cute natural lighting. Chef's kiss, I'm so excited. <laughs> so first things first is the star of the show, the Christmas tree. She looks a little bit derpy right now for a couple of reasons. <laughs> Firstly, I'm usually, I'm used to having my mirror over here so I feel like this corner just I'm not used to the way it looks without my mirror over there. Secondly, the lights that I put on, um, these are the only lights that I had. They have a white wire instead of that green wire, which blends in better with the tree, obviously. So the lights look, you know, they stand out a little more than your average Christmas tree, but it's fine. She's still very cute. Hi guys, it's me from the future editing this video. I wanted to give a quick update. I ended up switching out the lights on my Christmas tree, as you can see. So ultimately, I went digging around in our family Christmas tree decorations, and I found a string of white lights with green wire, which blends in so, so much better to the tree, and I think overall, it looks much cuter. So... Even though in the rest of the footage, the tree has the white wire on it, just know I did end up switching it out. So in real life, it looks much better than it does at the end of this video. And I am so obsessed with it. I cannot wait to take like all of my cute aesthetic Instagram pictures right here. I think it looks so cute and I love having it up. That's my brief little update. Back to the video. Um, there also aren't any ornaments yet. I don't know if I'll put any ornaments on there or not. It might just be nice with the lights. But I like her. She's cutie. Even if she doesn't look like a traditional Christmas tree, I like her. Um, so she's, she's the star of the show. And then a bunch of the other stuff that I did is really small. Like I put my mistletoe candle over here. Over on this side of my dresser, I did really hard to see, but two of the little fake Christmas trees, along with all of the books that I'm selling on Pango Books. And those were supposed to be a temporary stack and now they've just kind of become a permanent fixture over on this part of my dresser, so what can you do? Over here, we've also got two of my stockings hanging on my closet doorknobs. Moving over to my desk, we've got my other Christmas candle, my Christmas tree smelling candle, which honestly, I am going to light so that my room can smell all night and Christmassy for the rest of the night. One of the things I'm asking for for Christmas this year is an electric lighter because first of all, I think it's way cuter and this one is just large and kind of not cute at all. So <laughs> boom, okay, now we've got that going. So that's on that side of my desk. On the other side of my desk, we've got my soap and my body wash that I want to put in my bathroom. Um, but we've got my champagne toast candle and another one of my fake Christmas trees. Over up, I put these, my stockings on my windowsill. So I don't know if those will stay or not, but I think it's cute. I just didn't put one on the middle. Joy, obviously, the two other stockings. It's like the only ledge that I have in here. Obviously I don't have a fireplace in my room, so. I think it looks cute though. I could, the other places I could potentially put them. I don't want to put them on my dresser because I'm going in there every day. I could hang them here because I don't really use this desk at all. I made it to be like my vanity, but I don't really use it. Who knows? I've been having that itch to like redecorate my room and rearrange my room. Not right now anyway. I didn't really do anything with my bed. I've got, I have Christmas lights up on my bed year round. So that kind of just matches the vibe. I've also got all this stuff just piled up. I've got like my crochet pumpkins and stuff over here and other things that I took down. So I'll have to find a place for those, probably under my bed, but what can you do? Over here on my ladder shelf, we obviously moved my mirror over here. I don't think it looks too bad. I think like pictures will be cute with like the tree in the background and everything. Oh, cutie. And it's not permanent, like it's just for this month, but I kind of like it over here. I haven't actually opened my door with it here, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. But over on the ladder shelf over here, we've got one of the signs, the home for the holidays, and another one of the trees. And then down here, we've got the Feliz Navidad sign with the two other trees. And last but not least, hanging on the back of my door, we have got the countdown to Christmas. Um, this is definitely supposed to be a countdown, like up here, I don't know if you can read it, but it says days until Christmas. But I think every year that we've had this, we just use this to say like actually which day of December it is. Cause it's kind of confusing to be like, to count backwards, I don't know, I don't know. So like today's December 10th, so I'm just having it on December 10th and we're gonna ignore 
days until Christmas. And it's just kind of like a calendar. That is the overview of my decorated room. It doesn't look all that different. Obviously, like I said, the tree is the star of the show. The star of the show. That's the biggest difference. The biggest change. Everything else is like very small, subtle changes. But I like it. I think it's festive. I think it's cute. And I'm hoping that having my tree will help me feel more festive and more like in the Christmas spirit leading up to Christmas. Cause like I said in the beginning, I haven't really been feeling super in the Christmas spirit. I'm not feeling like anti Christmas. It just, Christmas doesn't feel like it's actually happening in two weeks or whenever it's happening. So, you know, that maybe that's just the way it goes this year. But you guys, I think that is gonna be it for this decorating vlog. I kinda wanna move you guys so you can actually see the tree maybe i'll just move or i'll just i'll just hold you but you guys i think that is gonna be it for this decorating vlog keep your eyes peeled for the next decorating vlog that will be coming very soon probably in a couple of days and of course all of the christmas content that's going to be coming in my 12 days of vlogmas as well i'm actually going to spend the rest of my night planning out my 12 days of vlogmas content schedule i'm filming this a little bit in advance so i'm going to spend the rest of my night in my nicely decorated room planning out all the videos that i want to post for the 12 days of vlogmas this year so i'm going to sign off if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my my channel if you haven't already but that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow Merry Christmas, bye guys baby. rain is coming out to play santa claus is packing the presents making sure you've been behaving okay